Perhaps we are still in congruency, uh, but our next level of questions are, um, are the hardest one that you'll come across in grade nine. And they are where the word congruency doesn't even appear. So we're not asked to prove congruency. Okay? We're asked to prove something else. Okay? But to prove that, whatever it is, I will have to prove congruency. Okay? And I'll explain. So I'm in, it's page 161, exercise 5, and I'm working on the example just above, it's example 12, above the exercise. So you've got these two triangles, okay? You can see these two triangles, okay? And we are asked to prove that ACD, this line, ACD bisect BE, okay? Bisect BE at C. Now, first of all, what does that mean? What does it mean that the line ACD bisect the line BE at C? Bisect, we said, we saw in the last question, means splits in half. Okay? So this line ACD bisect BE at C means what we want to prove. I'm going to write it down here. That's what we want to prove. We want to prove that BE is equal to, sorry, we want to prove that BC is equal to CE. That's what we want to prove. We don't know it, but we want to prove it. Okay? That means that this line bisect this line. Okay? So, see, it says nothing here about congruency. But to prove that, I can tell you now, we will have to prove congruency. So, we've got two triangles. I want to prove that they're congruent. So, if you don't know where to start, see if you can prove some congruency. Okay? Right. So, I know... You know, to prove congruency, I've got four, four cases, right? SSS, SAS, SAA, RHS. Let's try and find out as much information about these triangles. What is actually equal? Let's start with the most obvious, okay? Line AC, let's use the red line, okay? Line AC must be equal to C, okay? That's given, right? You can see those two lines are equal. They was given. Now, what else can be equal? Here you have to use that thing between your two ears. You've got these two lines. What can you say about C1 and C2? Okay. C1 and C2 okay, are equal. These two angles must be equal. Okay. Remember, again, it's one of these first things we learn in geometry. We said that these two angles are equal. Do you remember the reason? Okay. The reason is vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles equal. Okay? C2 equals C1. Now check out something I've done without saying. I'm going to try and write all the bit about the bottom triangle on the left and all the stuff on the top triangle on the right. So AC, that's the side of the bottom triangle, right? So I'll go on the left. CD on the right. C2 belongs to the bottom triangle on the bottom, so I'll write on the left. Okay. C1 on the right. See, I'm trying to just make sure I'm consistent. I write all the stuff on the bottom triangle on the left. It doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right, but as long as it's always on the same side, you will help me later. You will see. Okay, so I've got one side that is equal and one angle that is equal. I need one more angle or another side. Okay. If I knew that BC equal to CE, then I'll have side, side, and angles. SAS. But I don't know the B, C equal to C. That's what I want to prove. So I don't know it. So I'm looking really for another angle. Can you think about another angle that is equal? Those two are equal. What about those angles? Now, sometimes you might be like stuck and you say, I don't know. Then what you're going to do is check what else is there in the question we haven't used. We use those two angles, those two sides the same. We use that these two angles are the same. What does this mean? What does this arrow thing mean? Okay? That means that these are parallel, right? It means that these are parallel. Okay? So if they're parallel, when, then we can figure out some angles are equal. Okay? This angle is going to be equal to that angle. What do we call these chart with these angles? I'll just give them another shape. What do we call these angles here? Okay? Alternating, all right? So I can say that, again, I'm starting from the bottom, on the triangle on the bottom, so I was right down the left, so I write Angle A is equal to angle D. And these guys are alternating angles. Okay? Uh, and I need to write down which lines are parallel. A, B, parallel to E, D. And now I've got two angles. 
and a side. So I can write down congruency. I can say triangle, and I'll start from the left. And this is why I wrote all the stuff from the left for the bottom triangle. So I know that the first, uh, uh, I can start with, let's say, C. Okay, because these are equal. So I'll write C, A, B. You could have done B, A, C, C, A, B, but I just started a certain triangle. It doesn't really matter. But what is, what does matter is if I start with angle C on the left side, I have to start with angle C the triangle above. So it's angle C2 equals C1. Now angle A is equal to angle D. So from C I'm going to move on to D, right? Because these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same, okay? You can see that A is equal to D. And the last one I have to go, I can't help it, is E. And i got to write a reason for that. And the reason is going to be SAA, right? I've got two, one side and two angles. Okay, what does it tell me now? I mean, they didn't ask me to prove congruency, did they? Okay. Well, I proved congruency. Well, if I prove congruency, then I can say that lines BC, you can just write it like that, line BC is equal. I'm connecting the, uh, the, the first and the third letter, so I must connect the first and the third letter on the right triangle. So CB, or BC, does it matter, equals CE. That's just what we want to prove, okay? So I still need to give a reason for this, okay? The reason is triangle, it's, I know it's somewhat weird, but all I gotta do is write down that these triangles are congruent. So I need to copy it. Triangle CAB is congruent to triangle CD. And that's it, that's what I wanted to prove. Okay, let's see what's the next question. Okay, so to finish this question, they wanna ask me now to prove that ED is equal to BA. Well, that is very, very easy. Let's take a look at BA, okay? BA, I'm going to erase this now, so it won't confuse you. A, B, or BA is the same. If I connect the second and the third letter, I must connect the second and the third letter on the right, which is BE or ED. It's the same thing, right? BE and ED is the same. So I can straight away also say that ED would be equal to BA. What's the reason? Again, I need to copy the same reason. The triangle, these specific two triangles are congruent. Okay, I'll stop here and let's do one more question. Okay, chaps, uh, the next two questions I'm going to go through are really, really tough. Okay, now I can already even say this whole exercise five is really very tough. Okay, so these next two questions I'm going to do in exercise five are the hardest one. If you don't get them, please don't get upset. Okay, uh, there's going to be a question like that in a test, but maybe just one. Okay, so that's a really, really tough, the ones we're trying to get, those who get 80, 90%. Okay, so um, I'm at example, at question G, it's in page 162, exercise 5, G. I've got this triangle. I can see that A1 equal to C1. I can see that F2 equal to F3. And what they asked me to prove is that F1 plus F2 equal F3 plus F4. Pause me, look at that question, read it, okay? All right, I want to show that F1 plus F2 equal F3 plus F4, okay? Now, actually, I mean, that's a tough one, but actually it's really easy, okay? What you got to remember is that, or C, that F1 is equal to F4. Okay, how do I know these two triangles are equal? We just did it in the last question. Vertically opposite angles equal. Okay. Now, I already know I was given that F2 equal F3. Okay. That was given. Okay. I was just these two dots say they're the same. So if I've got this equal to that, that equal to that, then if I'm adding those two, that will be, uh, be equal to the sum of those two. Right. If I write, let's say, 2 is equal to, obviously that's stupid. Okay. 4 is equal 4, okay. obviously. But if that means that 2 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 4. I, never, I don't know if you ever thought about that. Okay? All right, so if that is equal to that, that is equal to that. If I'm adding those two, F1, F4, F1 plus F2 equal F4 plus F3. Okay? All right, and that's what I wanted to prove. Okay? That was the first thing I wanted. Now the second thing, they want me to prove that at triangle ABC, ABC is an isosceles. 
What does it mean ABC is isosceles? It means that there's two sides that are equal. Now just looking at this triangle, what are the sides that must be equal? Okay, it's those two, right? AB equal to BC. So I need to prove that these two sides are the same. But I can't just say, oh wait, they look the same. I need to prove it. Okay, let's start. Okay, so um, this is this is this kind of question. So they're not asking me to prove if triangles are congruent, but I need to prove this. So there's a couple of triangles that are congruent, and then I will be able to prove that A B is equal to B C. And then the triangles that are congruent are these triangles. I'll draw one in red, this triangle, and then one in green. See, that's what's difficult about these questions. They don't tell you which triangles you need to prove that are congruent. It's really tough, okay? But don't worry about it. If you don't get it, don't worry. It's going to be 5% of a test, okay? Right. So let's think about this red and the green and see what we know is equal, okay? So the first thing that is equal, we can see that they share a sign. That's the easiest thing to prove. FB is obviously equal to FB because it's a common sign, okay? This side is equal to itself. That's not a problem, okay? Now, the next thing I just proved now, okay? This triangle, this angle, I'll do it like that, F1 plus F2 is equal to F3 plus F4. So I've got an angle that is the same, F1 plus F2. This is in itself a triangle, uh, an angle, okay? Is equal to, uh, let's write it in a different way, okay? We can do it like that, but let's write this tri uh, angle like this, angle B, F, B, okay, see that's also the way we can draw an uh, angle, okay, B, F, B, we put the, the vertices in the, in the middle with a little hat, is equal to angle B, F, C, okay, and we just proved it, it wasn't given to us, okay, it wasn't given to us, we had to prove it, we proved it up here, okay, so we don't write given, it is proved. The third reason, okay, and the third thing that needs to be equal, okay, uh, any, anything else that I know that is equal? Okay, let's just side, angle. Hmm. Missing one more thing. Just hang on for a second. I will start another video because we're running out of time.